All right now, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. And this is rocket science. Yep. So what I'm actually going to do is an interesting series. I think I'm, I'm most likely going to aim for a weekly video on this specific topic. Uh, and it's going to dive more into algorithms, uh, more into the science, the math the underlying technology of disruption and decentralization. All right, so now this is just the title. This is rocket science. Um, <laughs> it's rocket science. And as, as you know, in rocket science, there are interesting equations. You see it right here. You got your M equals M to the O minus BT and all this good stuff, all this Jeff, CF to the factor of. And yeah, so. Ooh, E equals MC squared. So I am going to create my own algorithm. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen. And a few other things. So what what does this have to do with blockchain, cryptocurrency, and all of that? Well, let's check out SHA-256. Algorithm. It's an algorithm. Actually, what we're going to do, comparison of SHA parameters. Here you go. You got SHA-1, you got SHA-256, you got SHA-384, and you got SHA-512. So there's a lot of secure hash algorithms. And this is not really, it's not necessarily encryption, it's a type of encryption. Uh, so it's a hash algorithm. Now this hash algorithm, in theory, cannot be tamper, tampered with. That's where you get your security blanket, your, your tamper proof. That's your your security, you know, SHA, your SHA-256. Now, some people are saying it's better to use SHA-512 because guess what? See, word size, SHA-256 uses a 32-string word size. It's a 32-string hash. SHA-384 and SHA-512, they use 64 words, uh, and they're faster. As you see, the security goes up, number of steps goes up a little. Uh, let's see, SHA 256 versus, versus. So you got MD5, here's another thing right here, MD5. If you know anything about MD5, a quick little graph right here, less secure than SHA, higher secure. There goes the bits, bit operations, 2 to the 128, and this is 2 to the 160. That's the bits. I see bit operations. So I, SHA-256, or SHA, it doesn't say 256, it just says SHA. In general, outperforms ND5. Now, it says this is faster, only 64 iterations, and this is slower. So you don't want to trade security for speed. Me, personally, I, I say that. Successful attack so far. Attacks reported to some extent. No such attacks report yet. So no successful attacks on secure hash algorithm. Now, if we want to go a little bit deeper in the gra in rabbit hole, what's this? Cryptographic hash function. So yeah, your seed words or your key, your private keys. This is what's being being generated. You know, you get your here. This is the algorithm. You got your input. You get your output. So rocket science can be simplified. You know, how do you want to clean your house? How do you want to get dressed? We use algorithms in our everyday lives. What is the speed of secure hash functions? So what am I all what am I getting to? Let's go to block stack. So right now. They call it Web 3.0, the internet. Right now, things are being built with different types of algorithms, not just SHA-256. Uh, oh, Quark. Have you heard of Quark? Quark algorithm? Let's see. Quark algorithm. Now, Bitcoin. The reason why SHA-256 is so popular is because Bitcoin uses SHA-256. 
you got Quark right here. Quark versus Bitcoin. See Quark, you got different uh, algorithm algorithms you can use. Bitcoin needs to be mined. Quark generates incre incredibly fast. Uh, this is actually <laughs> this is Quark coin, but there's a Quark algorithm. Uh, so yeah, so I was getting to the decentralization of the internet, Web 3.0. So, what does this mean? You can actually let's go to Blockstack. This is a beautiful uh, place to start. And look at this: build a single-page JavaScript application that runs completely client-side without any servers. That is the decentralization of the internet. You don't need any servers. Then they have their own authentication based on to do application and learn about authentication and Gaia storage and in storage build a decentralized blogging app using multiplayer Gaia storage they got tutorials documentation and a github and here are the depths uh, if you're like if you like me or if you're not like me if you've seen in the news the all the security breaches and all the information the consumers stuff being leaked 50 million people 100 million people, Facebook, Uber, uh, credit card bureaus are just ridiculous, just completely ridiculous. But it makes sense. If you put a lot of information in one place, in this information age, you know, data is king, data is queen, data is valuable. So you got people going after data. So you can decentralize it. I use some of these. Come check them out for yourself. Uh, let me see. Oh, here goes Google servers. Blockstack. So Google servers, how do they store? How does Firebase store? This is, if you know about Firebase, check it out. Blockstack is personal data. Lockers built on Google, AWS, and Azure. So decentralized right there. I heard good things about AWS. Then we got uses Google authentication. They use universal and user owned ID. Create your own ID with your own private key. Let's see. Scaling cost per gigabyte. User owned storage. No in no incremental scaling costs. Community owned by Google open source. 7,000 plus developers. That is a lot of developers. Kudos to that. Let me see. Decentralization, <laughs> none. So Firebase is not decentralized. Blockstack, fast and scalable. Blockchain for decentralized apps. So Blockstack comes out the winner. Leave your comments below. Uh, they got SDKs for you, and I actually want to go into. I want to go a little further into AWS and some decentralized things. Let's see. AWS versus we got Azure, Google Cloud, Roku. Now, oh yeah, Firebase right there. Here's let's see. AWS. Now, obviously, there's an Alibaba Cloud coming out. There's a few things in crypto coming out with cloud storage. Uh, and I let me see. Want to go to? We got tutorials, documentation. Let's go check out the GitHub really quick. And this is, if you haven't noticed, this is where I've been, you know, for the past couple of weeks, just behind the scenes. And I have a few ideas of my own, and it's all starting to come together. Let's see, we got Blockstack Core, and I, I actually thought, you know, maybe a year or two from now, I'll you know get my my own project up and running but uh, the world of crypto is incredibly fast so we're actually going to move that timeline up a lot and I have a few things I'm going to be working on actually a few things I am working on uh, and I just wanted to show y'all the under the hood you know because here's the cool thing is anyone can do this anyone is a genius you just have to be the individual to look in the mirror and say, yep, I'm, I'm going to make an app. I'm going to do a little bit of homework, actually do a lot of homework. 
yeah a lot of homework and as you do your homework all of this becomes easier so you got multiplayer storage block stack to do managing data with Gaia hello block stack so look you can start here hello block stack click right there you got a tutorial and they show you part one installation and generation first install yo man along with block stack X generator you just put that in the command terminal so this is step by step and you want to do things like this more and more so you get more comfortable uh, and then you can definitely collaborate you know get on github put your push push your git uh, your yeah you create your new repository you're going to push your own git so that's that's all I want to talk about right now more incredible things coming uh this is a beautiful time to be in what what a, what a what a wonder it is to be alive every day i wake up it's truly incredible and i definitely relish and enjoy every moment uh this is rocket science thanks for tuning in more coming as you can tell i'm like <laughs> behind the scenes right now just thinking of tons of stuff i got a little notepad right here uh and I'm going to I'm starting to go, go to more conferences. Check me out on Twitter. Subscribe to this video. On Twitter, I'm Phenomenal Mark. YouTube, I'm Bit Savage. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're a developer, let me know what you're working on. Or you don't have to. Just leave a comment if you are working on anything. If you have any thoughts, any ideas. I didn't go too deep. Uh, we can go even deeper. You know, we can we can go into uh, RFID. Protocol, RFID protocols. Uh, we can we can go into yeah a lot more stuff, but right now I'm gonna just keep it light, keep it simple, and you know, show you what this world is about. To, well, actually, what this world is transforming into. So, if you don't uh, if you don't keep ahead with the times, you you will definitely be like. <laughs> Blockbuster or Toys R Us, you will be out of here. Uh, so yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the love and support. We're growing the channel. We're growing the community. The crypto community. It's it's the blockchain community. Really, I should say it's more than just a single standalone project. It's really about the community, what is being created, and the environment that's allowing innovation to thrive and a lot of these things will be used for companies like Google for companies like IBM for companies like Delta I mean the air airplane like every industry will benefit from what's happening right now um, so it's not just one standalone project look at it from a grand perspective and have fun if you really want to if you're in it to you know invest or pick some top winners just look at whoever's creating stuff like this. They're creating platforms that will be solutions. They're solution based. You know? Uh Ethereum's solution based. That's why a lot of people are using Ethereum. Go chain's incredible. Hash uh what is that? Hashgraph is gonna be cool. Uh you got even Ontology and Neo, they're doing some great things. Uh what else? What do I like? Ooh, X forty two. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, just look at the ones that are building the technological infrastructure, <laughs> the foundation. That's where it's at. All right, thanks for tuning in. I will be back pretty soon. Got some great projects I'm working on, some cool events I'm going to, and some uh, some interesting stuff I'm building. I'm flushing out. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in. This is Bit Savage. See you around. Peace.